Hello, victorious ones. How are you doing? I hope everyone is having an amazing, golden, victorious day in the Lord. So I'm coming on here to remind you not to chop down your trees during the winter, during the winter time, because those very same trees will usher in your harvest. And so I'm here to decree and declare that it's harvest time for you. I don't care what you see. I don't care what you feel like, how you feel. The Lord says it's harvest time for you. And I want you to go and I want you to read Psalm 126. The Lord says, those of you who have been sowing in tears, you shall reap with songs of joy, carrying the harvest with you. And so yesterday, as we were driving, I saw a car and it said bundles. And then this morning, the, the vocabulary word of the day, it said, it, the word means bundles. And so all I see are the, body, are the believers, the, the body of Christ, gathering every bundle that's not of God and burning them, burning them down, burning it up, but gathering the bundles of the Lord. Amen. And so you have to be able to speak those things that be not as though they were. Don't let the enemy trick you. There are some things that God is going to tell you to burn, burn up. But there are other trees. And this is where you need wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. There'll be some other trees that look dead. Children that look dead. Marriages that look dead. Businesses that look dead. Ministries that look so dead. Amen? Dreams that look so dead. But God said, do not chop down your trees during the winter because those trees are going to usher in your harvest. So wait on the Lord and be of good, be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And see these very trees, the same trees you're seeing that look dead, will be the very same trees you see in a couple of months flourishing. Don't be hasty to grab the ax and to start chopping down things. Wait on the Lord, trust and believe it's your harvest time. Go and read Psalm 126. And when you're reading it, I want you to pray it over your life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I'll restore the years the palmer worms ate up in your life. It's not by your power. It's not by your might. It's by the spirit of the living God. He's giving you new life. Speak to your valley of dry bones. Speak those things that be not as though they were. You have the victory. Overwhelming victory belongs to you and you shall flourish. The righteous flourish like a palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon. You are oaks of righteousness planted by the river banks of the word of God. Out of your belly is flowing rivers of living waters in the name of Jesus. And I cover this prayer with the blood and there will be no backlash or retaliation. Lord, I thank you that your angels are here to fulfill your word. In the name of Jesus, the son of righteousness is shining upon us with healing in his wings. We wait and trust in you, Father God, and all things are working together for our good. On repeat, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform it. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Speak life. We have godly roots. Speak it. And anything else is none of God will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. But our families thrive. Our ministries thrive. I am the vine, you are the branches. Your leaves will never wither and all that you do for God will be prosperous. Listen, seasons change. To everything there is a season. That's why you must wait and don't be hasty. You must be wise. God is giving you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in the name of Jesus. Be led by the Holy Spirit. Be led by the Spirit of the living God. Read your word, fast and pray. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart, soul, mind and strength. 
and lean not to your own understanding in all of your ways. Acknowledge the Lord and he will direct your path on repeat. Be blessed, victorious ones. And those of you who have ordered your victory oil, we have, we've had some positive reviews. If you have ordered the oil, <laughs> please share your testimony. Don't be shy. Let's brag on the Lord. Let's go. Let's talk about what God is doing. God is doing some great things. You have the victory. The oil represents the oil of gladness, the Holy Ghost. The Bible says they brought the, uh, the handkerchiefs that belonged to the apostles and the people touched it, touched them and they were healed. It's your faith. It's your faith. Move by faith. Amen. Get your oil, anoint your family, anoint everything and watch God move on your behalf. In the name of Jesus, God bless you, victorious ones, and I'll talk to you later.